Hey there, everyone. This is Sean 007 1986. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. So, my plan was to actually talk about the you, you know, the women's national soccer team getting the Arthur as as courage award for um, equal pay bullshit and nothing else. But then I got two stories that I'm going to talk about. Yeah, the second story I'm going to do after I make this video will be talking about the Supreme Court getting rid of the affirmative action in colleges and universities, i.e. getting rid of the whole race race thing in college admissions. I'll be talking about that one. And then, because I was bored as hell and laid down and was looking at YouTube, I will also be talking about a polygon writer writing a story on the top 20 Disney character, top 20 hottest Disney characters. I, I wish, I wish I was joking on that one. I am definitely wishing I, I was joking on that one. And there will be, and I will be saying some things in that one when it's like, oh boy, yeah. What? I worry about those two. Let's focus on this. So, yes, ESPN, the worldwide leader in sport, is getting shit-talked and getting completely destroyed after they announced that they will be awarding the United States Women's National Team the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at the ESPYs. Your reasoning? For equal pay. Yes, for their equal pay fight, despite the team pushing for men to play in, in women's sports. I wish I was joking. I will read this, and I will get on to it. <clears throat> ESPN, oh, read it on, okay, of course. ESPN to award the USWNT Arthur Ass Courage Award at the ESPYs for equal pay fight. Despite teams pushing for men to play against, to play women's sports. In a somewhat comedic twist of fate, ESPN is honoring the United States Women's National Team with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award at this year's ESPYs Awards. The irony, of course, is that the women of the national soccer team fought to increase the pay in women's sports. But recently, stars of the team, like Megan Rapinoe, do voice voice support for biological men to play in women's sports. This is a bit of a be careful what you wish for situation for the United States Women's National Team. Yes, they successfully sued the United States Soccer Federation, the USSF, on the basis that women that the women's team was underpaid compared to the mayor's team. Men's team. Now the players earn more money, but should more men but should more men decide to identify as women, they will take those spots away from the women who work to get that increased pay. Keep in mind, many there are many players, including Hope Solo, who is against that bullshit. And with the incentive now in place that being a woman's soccer player pays very handsomely, expect that trend to increase. Mega Rapo and the team who are fighting for men to play women's sports don't care. Why would they? They got what they wanted. More money. More cabbage. More cheddar. More greens. Dead Benjamins. Dead President De Niro. Rappaport's career is almost over, as is the career of Alex Morgan, Becky Stum, Becky Suberman, another star supporter of Biologic Men, playing women's sports, is already retired. So, what do they care if future biological women lose spots to biological men? It's no skin off their backs. Except Rappaport and her ilk never stop talking about how they, quote, do, do, don't do it for themselves. And it's all this is bigger than them. But they're lying. Of course it's about them. Listen to Megan Ranapo talk. No one loves Megan Ranapo as much as Megan Ranapo loves Megan Ranapo. She cares about herself. So like Antonio Brown. And uh, that's really saying something. No matter how hard these women try to claim this, claim this about others, it isn't. See, this is the issue most of us have with this stuff. Fighting for equal pay is great. No, no problem with that. Except, 
it was never really about equal pay. Think about it. What if the USFL, what, the USSF has said that, said to the women's team, okay, you're right, the pay needs to be equal. We're going to lower the men's pay so that it's now equal to the women's. You'd think Megan Rappaport would, would say, great, that was, that was the whole point. Of course not. <laughs> Fucking course not. They didn't want equal pay. They wanted more pay. But equal pay looks a lot, looks a hell of a lot better on a bumper sticker or on a cardboard sign than we want more money. Which, by the way, was the true purpose of the lawsuit. And, you know, that's fine. This is America. I believe that people should use whatever leverage they have to demand as much money as their employer or the consumer is willing to pay. Just don't preach to me about equality when it's when it's is it really about that. Megan Rappaport is a Nike athlete who gets tons of money for the company. Any words out of her mouth about equality for the women in China? Does she have any thoughts that all of her Nike gear and the majority of money from that company comes from a country that, quite literally, promoted the murder of female child, of female children thanks to her, thanks to their one-child policy that lasted from, oh, I don't know, 1980 to 2016? No, they don't like some Americans about equality. I, I mean, yeah, makes sense, but uh, knowing them, they'll keep, they'll lecture about it because it's fine to lecture us about equality, but won't say the same shit to China, you know, the ones that filling up their pockets and pocketbooks. And yet, here we are with the US with the USWNT receiving the current award from ESPN for suing their employee to get more money while Simon says he's fighting for, for men to take their spots in women's sports. <sighs> what a time to be alive. Yes indeed. Oh and on also you know how the men's soccer team that got that advanced into the uh, FIFA World Cup got advanced into the FIFA World Cup then? Yeah. They got paid Oh yeah, they got paid. Guess what happened? They had to give half of that to Megan Rappaport and the women's soccer team. Which to me, is fucking theft. Like, really is fucking theft if you ask me. But, no surprise. And of course, well, you know, everybody's calling out, calling ESPN out on this bullshit, and they're saying that many other players, that there are some people who are worthy than them for that award. One of them being Peyton Hillis, the man, the former running back, former uh, running back for the Peyton, for the uh, Cle Cleveland Browns, who was also on the cover of Madden NFL 12. I actually got Madden NFL 12. Who actually uh, risked, risked almost dying to save save kids from drowning. It, from drowning. There, He could have gotten that, but they would ignore him. Or what about Blake Gabbard? Blade fucking Gabbard. Who was the backup for Tom Brady on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Who won a Super Bowl, mind you? Won a Super Bowl. Won his first Super Bowl. Won a Super Bowl before Colin Kaepernick. With the say some people. No mention to him. Or not even or not even thinking about Riley Gaines. You know, a female a female swimmer who was who's actually fighting to save women's sports. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, I know what they said. Oh, no, we don't want her. Uh, to, she, she wants to say women's sports. We can't have that. This is why ESPN is fucking trash, man. This is why ESPN is so goddamn fucking trash. And besides, contrary to what you. Contrary to me, I do love women's sports. I just want to see women's sports that are actually exciting. Women's soccer. I watch that, and I do root against Megan Rappaport and her fucking team. Yes, I'm that fucking vindictive. Women's tennis, I watch that. Women, women's track and field, I watch that. Women's volley, beach volleyball, I watch that. Hell, feet. 
women wrestling in WWE in wrestling in wrestling promotions like WWE, AEW, Impact Wrestling. I watched that. I tried watching the WNBA. Let's be real. I tried watching the, the WNBA. It was so goddamn boring. I almost fell asleep. I mean, the WNBA. Do you want my husband's opinion? The WNBA puts me to sleep fucking faster than NASCAR. That's saying something right there. And NASCAR is like, okay, I could stay up uh, about this one and this each other. But WNBA, sh fucking hell. Oh, but yeah, I'd rather watch. It was. The, the WNBA is boring. I'd rather watch female street ballers play pickup games on YouTube or at the playgrounds. Like, playgrounds, I mean, you know, basketball courts, like what you're seeing right now, than to watch a WNBA game. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. All I know is that ESPN is tra is fucking trash. And no, and the day that it's going to... And we all know that it's going to get sold off by Disney. Because Disney is already in the goddamn fucking red. I mean, they lost like, what, 900 mil... What, 900 million dollars... Uh, making a failed goddamn product, so no surprise that'll be sold. And also, as if this wasn't bad enough for ESPN, Saint Seal she rejected the 500k, the fucking 500k uh, settlement from ESPN when when she was suing, the, where she is still going on with the lawsuit with the company. Reason why is because they fired her, they suspended her. Because she didn't get the fucking jab during the whole pandemic bullshit. She didn't want it. She didn't want nothing. She didn't want an unknown being in their bodies. I mean, we. I mean, can you blame her though? But I'm not gonna touch on that one because I know how YouTube is nowadays. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. But I, like I said, I feel like Riley Gaines. Well, either Riley Gaines or Peyton Hillis should be available, should be getting the Arthur Ashe Courage Award. Giving it to a, giving it to Megan Rapinoe, who's the only fucking, who's, who's only getting it because he was doing the whole equal pay thing, while also at the same time pushing for men to play against women, play against women in women's sports, is an insult, is an insult, and a disgrace. To Arthur Ashe's legacy. And I hate to say this next part. I really do. But it needs to be said. What if. Well. It's not a matter of. Yeah. It's, it's not a matter of when it's going to happen. But if it's going to happen. What if. These. Biological men. Who competes in women's sports. Accident. Somehow kills. A female competitor. Then what the fuck y'all gonna say? Nope. <laughs> Cause trust me, if that were to happen, there gonna be lawsuits out the ass if that's if that would happen. See, l normal people like myself and people with a working brain and Riley Gaines knows it too. No, was asking these serious questions. But if you ask Megan Rappaport and all these other quote unquote pundits at ESPN, they won't. They'd be like, oh no, y'all just saying that just to scare people. It's like, yeah, but you have to know that that's a serious thing that you have to keep at the back of your head. But, yeah. I mean, I'm, to be perfectly honest, I'm reading this article that I just read. I'm not too fucking surprised. I'm really not. After all, with after all, I remember a few years ago, uh, many years ago, that uh, ESPN gave the Arthur Ashe Award to Caitlyn Jenner over a basket, a female basketball player who had an interoperable brain tumor who raised money. And the only reason why ESPN awarded that award to Caitlyn Jenner over the girl is because. They was hoping that e that ABC, which is still owned by Disney, mind you, will get will be the first to do an interview with Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah, yeah. I'm not bullshit. It actually did happen. It actually did fucking happen. And uh, a lot of people were pissed off about it. I was too. 
I was very, very pissed off about it. But, anywho, that's just my two cents on this. I would like to know what you think on this whole bullshit. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss out on updates, share with friends, share with your neighbors, share with others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Sean007986 signing off. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. See you in the next one. Catch you later. Bye! Really giving an award to a fucking women's soccer team who was actually fighting for fucking equal pay. What the fuck?